Hello everybody, I'm Aiden McFarland. I'm Nicholas Cook. I'm Erin Coughlin. And I'm Erin Weatherby. And today we're going to be performing the very dangerous experiment of instantly freezing Gatorade bottles. So I'll just have you zoom in on these Gatorade bottles really quickly. And you can see that they are indeed still in liquid form, even though they've spent all day in the freezer. And you can see the air bubble there, they are still liquid. But we're going to do two experiments where hopefully they should instantly freeze. When water freezes, the molecules come together in a very orderly way and form a crystalline structure. Because of this, water molecules as ice have less energy than water molecules as liquid. That means to go from liquid water, or in this case Gatorade, to solid Gatorade, the molecules have to lose heat energy. In other words, as supercooled Gatorade freezes when you tap it or open it, it also warms up the rest of the Gatorade. This heating may allow only 10 or 20% of the Gatorade to freeze, and that accounts for slush being in the bottle instead of it being a solid chunk. The formation of ice crystals happens very quickly, but heat flows slowly in Gatorade. What you just saw is called snap freezing. Cool. When Gatorade is cooled to its freezing point, ice crystals can begin to collect in the Gatorade. Like snowflakes, these crystals need something on which to grow, and they use microscopic impurities in the Gatorade or locations on the bottle to do just that. When an impurity, for example an ice crystal, is added to this supercooled Gatorade, it speeds up the crystallization process even more. As the supercooled Gatorade hits the ice cube nuclei in the bowl, the crystallization spreads up the stream of the Gatorade as it gets poured onto the pile. The latent heat that is released during the freezing process stops it from freezing solid. Dropping an ice cube directly down into a glass or just touching an ice cube to the surface of the Gatorade provides the nucleus needed for the supercooled Gatorade to freeze completely. Bill Nye the Science Guy! Bill Nye the Science Guy! Inertia is a property of matter. Yeah.